So today we are going to talk about the formation of lymph. We have started our new series of lecture about the lymphatic system and we have discussed the lymphatic channels in the human body that how the lymphatic channels are formed, how they collect the lymph from the human body and how they empty the lymph into the blood vessels. We have also discussed the structure of the uh, lymphatic capillaries and we have discussed uh, the permeability how the lymphatic vessels are basically uh, having the permeability for the large particles now today we are going to discuss the formation of lymph so basically at this point we assume that you have watched our previous lectures in which we have discussed that basically the blood is pumped to the, from the heart through the aorta into the large arteries and finally it comes into the capillaries at the arterial side of the capillaries the the plasma or the fluid from the blood goes out and on the venous side of the capillaries the fluid get absorbed but some of the large particles in the interstitium outside the capillary this is the capillary this is the arterial side of the capillary the venous side of the capillary and here on outside we have the interstitium on interstitial cell some of the fluid remains in the interstitium so the interstitial fluid which is basically fluid in the interstitium or the interstitial cells that remains after the absorption on the venous side of the capillaries it is basically absorbed with the help of lymphatics and lymphatics we discussed are basically representing an accessory or extra route for the absorption of interstitial fluid so how this lymph basically the the fluid which is going in the lymphatic channel how it's formed so lymph is derived from the interstitial fluid that flows into the lymphatics therefore lymph is it first enters the terminal lymphatics has almost the same composition as the interstitial fluid so initially when the lymph enters the terminal lymphatic these are basically the terminal lymphatics and the structure of the terminal lymphatics we have discussed in our previous lecture so initially when the in, the lymph the lymph basically it's derived from the interstitial fluid and the interstitial fluid is nothing but the fluid present in the spaces between the cell that is present in the tissues so initially when it derives at the terminal lymphatics it its composition is just like the interstitial fluid lymph is derived from interstitial fluid that flows from that flows into lymphatics therefore lymph is it first enters the terminal lymphatics has almost the same composition so at this point it has the same composition is the inter interstitial fluid lymph initially is interstitial fluid but we have discussed previously that lymphatics basically they carry large molecule large particles like proteins which cannot be absorbed into the small capillaries because of the structure of the capillary wall we have separately discussed the structure of the capillary wall and we have also discussed the stru structure of the capillary uh, the lymphatic capillary now initially the composition is like interstitial fluid but protein concentration of interstitial fluid of most tissues averages about 2 g per deciliter and protein concentration of lymph from these tissues is nearly this value so basically it is taking large particles mostly proteins so the the dominant the dominant component of the lymph will be proteins and the proteins that is derived from different tissues the different tissues of the human body that are present throughout the human body they their protein concentration their in in interstitial fluid is around 2 g per deciliter so protein concentration of interstitial fluid of most tissues most tissues is 2 g per deciliter and protein concentration of lymph from these tissues is nearly this value so protein lymph derived from the leg or lymph derived from the arm or lymph derived from the neck or lymph from the head will have protein concentration of around 2 g per deciliter but lymph from liver has a protein concentration of 6 g per deciliter lymph from the liver here has around 6 g per deciliter 
and limb from the intestine has 3 to 4 gram per deciliter of concentration of proteins. So mostly, mostly in the human body, the concentration of the protein in the interstitial fluid is 2 gram per deciliter. So lymph is basically the initially the interstitial fluid. So its concentration from most of the tissues is around 2 gram per deciliter. But lymph from the liver is having concentration of 6 gram per deciliter. The interstitial fluid that is taken from the liver is having protein concentration of 6 gram per deciliter. Similarly, the protein concentration of lymph from the intestine is around 3 to 4 gram per deciliter. And the other thing is that 2, to, two by third, 2 by third of the lymph, 2 by third of lymph of the whole human body, it comes from the liver. 2 by third of the lymph of the human body comes from liver and intestine. So average, average concentration of lymph in the whole body is 3 to 5 gram per deciliter. In the interstitial fluid protein concentration of the whole body is around 2 gram per deciliter. And lymph taken from most of the tissues is having protein concentration of 2 gram per deciliter. But protein concentration of interstitial fluid from the liver is having protein Protein concentration from liver is have is around 6 gram per deciliter and from intestines from intestine it's 3 to 4 gram per deciliter. And most of the lymph, 2 by third of the lymph comes from liver and intestine. So the average so the average increase from 2 gram to 3 to 5 gram per deciliter. So protein is one of the most important component of the lymph. Protein is one of the most important component of the lymph. We are talking about the formation of the lymph. So we have discussed one component that is the proteins. And the proteins concentration is different from different in different tissues. But its average is basically determined with the help of liver and intestine. Because 2 by third of the lymph from the whole body comes from the liver and intestine. Now... Second component of the lymph, second component in the formation of lymph include the large particles like bacteria and viruses. Bacteria can also push their way between endothelial cells of lymphatic capillaries. Bacteria can also push their way between endothelial cells of lymphatic capillaries. We have discussed the structure of the lymphatic capillary and we have discussed the, how the endothelial cells in the lymphatic capillary are having overlapping parts and there is room for absorption of large particles. Bacteria is also a large particle so they also push their way in easily in the endothelial cells of lymphatic capillaries as compared to the endothelial cells of the blood vessels. So. Second component in the formation of lymph include large particles like bacteria and viruses. And finally, lymphatic system is a major route for absorption of nutrients from GI tract, especially fats. So, lymphatics, lymphatics is a major route for absorption of nutrients. And and in these nutrients, the most important nutrient is fats. So, in the formation of lymph, the most important components are proteins, viruses and bacteria, and finally nutrients like fats, which, get, which gets absorbed from the intestine. So, that's all about the formation of lymph. Lymph is basically derived from interstitial fluid from interstitial fluid here that flow into the lymphatics therefore lymph is it first enters the terminal lymphatics has almost the same composition as the interstitial fluid initially its composition is just like the interstitial fluid initially the lymph is just like interstitial fluid but slowly gradually the proteins the bacteria and the fats get absorbed and the final the final structure of the lymph is formed so 
प्रोटीन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ इंटेस्टिशियल फ्लूड ऑफ मोस्ट टिश्यूज इज अराउंड टू ग्राम पर डेसी लीटर एंड प्रोटीन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ लिम्फ फ्रॉम दीज टिश्यूज इज नियरली दिस वैल्यू ऑफ टू ग्राम पर डेसी लीटर मोस्ट टिश्यूज हैज इंटेस्टिशियल फ्लूड प्रोटीन कंसेंट्रेशन टू ग्राम पर डेसी लीटर लिम्फ फ्रॉम लिवर हैज प्रोटीन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ सिक्स ग्राम पर डेसी लीटर एंड इंटेस्टाइन हैज थ्री टू फोर ग्राम पर डेसी लीटर एंड टू बाई थर्ड टू बाई थर्ड ऑफ लिम्फ कम फ्रॉम लिवर एंड इंटेस्टाइन सो एवरेज प्रोटीन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ द लिम्फ इज अराउंड थ्री टू फाइव ग्राम पर डेसी लीटर फाइनली बैक्टीरिया कैन ऑल्सो पुश देयर वे बिटवीन एंडोथीलियल सेल्स ऑफ लिम्फेटिक कैपिलरीज एंड लिम्फेटिक सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो मेजर रूट ऑफ एब्जॉर्बन फॉर न्यूट्रिय फ्रॉम जी आई ट्रेक स्पेशली फेट्स सो प्रोटीन्स बैक्टीरिया एंड फेट्स एंड सम अदर न्यूट्रियट्स दे आर बेसिकली द कंपोनेंट्स विच इज मेकिंग द लिम्फ एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड प्रीवियसली दैट लिम्फ फ्रॉम द राइट आर्म राइट साइड ऑफ हेड नेक राइट साइड ऑफ थोरिक्स गोज इन टू द राइट लिम्फेटिक डक्ट लिम्फ फ्रॉम द लोअर लिम्स एबडोम लेफ्ट आर्म लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द नेक हेड एंड थोरिक्स गोज इन टू द थोरेसिक डक्ट हेर वी हैव द थोरेसिक डक्ट and these ducts the right lymphatic duct and the thoracic duct they enter into the at the junction of internal jugular vein and subclavian vein internal jugular vein and uh, subclavian vein and so they become part of the blood so that's all about the formation of lymph thanks a lot for watching the video